good day. Uh, today we're looking at a Commodore 64 game. It's Death Wish 3 and it's based on the uh, action film uh, from 1985. Uh, this game, you're wondering about right streets, you can like shoot uh, gangsters and uh, anybody else who's up street really. Um, I think that's about it. Um, there's a, like a map on um, on your status which shows you which direction you're facing in and where to go next. Uh, there's probably a backstory to it, but basically you're just firing these uh, gang members and um, whoever else is in in your in your way really. Uh, games from 1987. It boasts like a free roam. Um, mode type of thing for your controls where you can turn around in different directions it does get a little bit fiddly um, but there is a compass uh, in your display to help you out uh, you can also as well I believe attack uh, civilians as well but like I say it, it's mainly just a, a scrolling uh, like beat em up really um, it's got nice music as you can hear as most games do at Commodore 64. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll give it a try. Now, that's me in the blue. I think that's supposed to be Charles Bronson. I'm um, not sure what I'm doing here. But yeah, if you press up on the joystick, you do alter uh, where you're facing. And you can see the radar in the status screen. Uh, that shows where you're going and where you can turn and everything else really. Uh, it, it, in its day I suppose that was pretty well programmed. Um, so, you know, it's a nice feature to have. Um, does it help in the gameplay? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, probably it does if you get used to it. It takes a while to get used to it where you face and where you should be going. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad well put together game. I suppose it could get a little bit um, repetitive. It reminds me of a game that I had for Spectrum uh, called Joe Blade. It reminds me a little bit of that in some ways. But, uh, yeah, like I say, it's not a bad, well put together game. It's uh, it's competent, graphics are fairly decent. Um, but like I say, I think it, it does get a little bit repetitive. Um, but apart from that, like I say, it's, uh, it's not bad for a quick, uh, a quick fix. Um, graphics out of 10... Mm, well, like I said, they're not badly done. Um, sometimes it gets a little bit of a mess when there's a few sprites on screen and they come together trying to kill you. Um, but graphics, and like I said, they're not badly done. They're quite colourful. So graphics only give a six. Music, uh, like I say, it's got a nice uh, tune throughout. You can turn it off because I suppose eventually it will get a little bit on your nerves a little bit but it's nicely done and um, so music I'm gonna give a seven overall gameplay well I'm not quite sure um, like I say it, it it does get a little bit repetitive um, so overall gameplay I'm gonna give a five I think um, no, in fact, I'm going to give a four. I don't know if, like I said, after a couple of goals, you're going to come back to it. It, it, it does get quite repetitive. Um, so, yeah, I'll give it a four. But it, it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a game that uses a different revolutionary control system where you can face in uh, different directions. I like that feature. Right now I'm facing east, um, according to me, compass in the status bar. So yeah, it's, it's quite uh, quite well done that. 
Uh, I've never seen this one back it day. I don't know if it came out for Spectrum, it probably did. It probably came out for CPC as well, Amstrad CPC. Um, yeah, I'd be interested what difference it, it would be on, to, on Spectrum. Um, probably monochrome, I would think, but gameplay, I would, I would presume, is going to be quite similar. So, yeah, um, there's not much else to show you on uh, this game. That's uh, basically it, really. You can pick up guns and other weapons and whatnot. So, yeah, you know, they have give you a little bit to do, but like I said, I think you've got to be, you know, quite a, a big, uh, got to have a lot of patience, put it that way, on this game. But, yeah, that's been Deathwish 3 uh, on the Commodore 64. Uh, so, uh, thanks for viewing uh, this review. Uh, if you could comment and subscribe, that would be great. Until next time. Take care. Bye-bye.